talent you have naturally. Skill is only developed by hours and hours and hours of beating on your crap. We live on ATX Motivation Radio. Shit, man, Quinn and that fan, ATX Motivation, man, T.O. <laughs> If, if you were going to introduce yourself to the people on the air right now, I just want to let you introduce yourself, you know, and let them know who you are and where to find you at. I'm nerd off all y'all. Okay, here we go. Right. <laughs> to follow me, though, it's Lord Agent on Instagram. The zero for the Lord and the dot in between the middle. Yeah. But... <laughs> <laughs> I started with my boy, his name's uh, Jordan Livingood. He stayed down here. You know, Keith Harvey, something like that? Nah. D. Kane. Oh, D. D. Kane. Yeah, yeah, I know. I did D. shows with D. Kane and stuff like oh, that. Right. That's how I started off. And you know, Coast to Coast, too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was doing stuff like that when I was first starting. And then I produced a lot of music, like oh, so mixtape. Oh, you make beats? No. Or, oh, oh, oh. Ooh, I see what you're saying. No, I produced, I like made a lot made. of music. Yeah. Oh, okay. I do have a DJ, though. Oh, okay. Personally. So you produce some mixtapes and then you got and then you just got this buzz and now they and now they looking for you. The buzz was already like on my Instagram because in high school I was already like nine thousand popular and then my last year I got on World Star. Oh, it was funny shit. Yeah. And then, what you got on World Star for? They be testing their school the last, like the last week, yeah. something like that. So they was doing karaoke in the auditorium. They was doing some whack music, bro. So, you know, I'm doing some hard shit. So I said, hey, put this instrumental. It was that Chief Keith Benito. Yeah. And then the whole, the whole school was like singing it with me. And then they tried to take the mic from me. I ain't, I wasn't having it. So we just <laughs> sang the whole song and then I dipped out. And then, and that's then they right. put your ass over. That was it. Fire. Yes, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, that's really tight. What type of music you do, you know? Like, like I make uh, turn up beats and more music towards a new generation. I'm not a lyricist. I make music to like jump around, get hyped to and have a good time, like more parties with. Yeah. But you know, when people hear music now, they like to have their head bumped and their crowd jumping and stuff like that. So. That's what, that's, what, that's, what like, that's what they like now these days. And that's exactly why I brought you in here because I knew you was like a turn up artist, you know, and I wanted to find out like like how did how do you how do you maneuver through, you know, uh just being being a turn up artist, are like people critiquing you or like people Ooh. telling you, you know what I'm saying? Like how how does that how does that work? You know, you got the red hair, you're a black man, you just like to have fun, rock style shit, you know, but how, how, how do you take that critique, you know, on the mumble rap and all of that stuff? Um, the lyricist artists and more of the older artists, they'll, you know, try to compare comic rap. We make two different types of music. I got more buzz. I know it's in right now. And you got to give people what they want. If they don't want to listen to it, they're not going to hear it. Like, there's people real good. You know, with their lyrics, they can rap a whole page full of things. And they'll rather hear some catchy repetitive song it's like it's common sense this yeah. is it right now yeah how you feel about that Keita knowing that you're a lyricist and stuff like that mm -hmm. you know like I think uh, it's a lane for everybody yeah you know um you gotta understand it probably people like Lil Richie back in the day when he first came out with his sound and people was probably telling him nobody wants to hear that but look at him now you know what I'm saying so it's like I feel like everybody has their own sound you really can't tell nobody what's good what's not good because it's all it's a crowd for everybody it's somebody out there waiting to listen to your music. You feel me? Yeah, so. yeah, right. Love the controversy and like and like seeing like what both sides think. You know, because it seems like a battle, but I think that it's enough fans for everybody. Right. It's about shit. It's enough paper for everybody to it touch. Is. You feel me? So. We went to no, we went to Dallas like sat. We just went Saturday, and I felt like the new kid in school. I'm the only like twenty. I'm the only twenty, so I'm rapping. And I do my thing, the older people, they just sit there looking at me like, huh? And then they want to like bob their head, but they got a, you know, ego. We all got their own ego, yeah. so they don't want to. But someone came up to me afterwards. He was like, hey, from old generation to new generation to the future, you know, he said respect. And then I'm listening to everyone else. They don't, you know, it don't sound the same. It all sound different. Yeah. So, so knowing that it's like two different 
you know two different generations you know what i'm saying like mm -hmm. do you ever tap into the older generation to see what that type of music is like yeah i don't yeah so so do you think that they should tap into you to see what your music is like or they have to respect it okay when we were listening to them back then like when i was growing up i was listening to their music we had no choice like that was they was putting out their music we liked it Drift from my walk. Yeah, out. yeah. We found uh, my man, the dude I was with, that Jordan dude. He was like all my music, and then he found that beat on YouTube. So we just yeah, I just went with we it. Just went with it. He was like, yeah, but this sounds good. I didn't like it at first. Yeah. And then he said he had a feature on. I'm like, nah, bro. And then we just I just went for it. Yeah. Freestyle, and then it was. I was like, freestyle. Yeah, it sounded right? good. So. It so you freestyled that that track. That track. Wow. So so do you think that like you put more into fashion and music or or is it like how much time do you spend into in, putting into music, you know? Cuz if if you just freestyled it, that was probably pretty quick, huh? Yeah. Okay, like making a song, it would take it don't even take that long like uh my boy Ladon, we were sitting in the car. He said I want to get on the song. I went on YouTube. I saw a beat that sound good and then it already came to my head and then we just make it. Yeah. Yeah, just something that sounds good and we can have fun too. For real. Like, I mean, you could promo, you could do yeah. everything else because making the music is really, it's just effortless, huh? Nothing. Yeah. I was, some songs, you know, some songs, like I have to prove myself. There was a couple of times where uh, I'd be taking that doubt and stuff a little yeah. serious on so my eye. Right, let me show them I can still rap, and then I do that, and then the rest of the tape is just me turning up. It still got to sound good, though, yeah. you feel me? Yeah. So I heard you had like an argument with a lyricist a little bit earlier. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I like anybody who is making progress. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. if if your rap style is making progress, then you're doing something right. You know what I'm saying? If mm -hmm. you're not making no progress, then you know what I'm saying? And you ain't doing something right. You know what I'm saying? Or you ain't right. there yet. And, you know, uh, a lyricist probably, I know that they write they shit and it take a little of while. Course. So it's, you guys go to battle. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. what, what was that battle conversation like coming from your end? Um, we had a, we showed up to the Civic Center. Yeah. And then it was someone else's event, but they had me perform anyway. And then he performed. It was, you know, standard. I performed. People jumping, basic lyrics and shit, but it was turned, mine was hot. And then we get outside, we used to rap together. Like when I first started rapping, period, I was yeah. in his group, like they let me in. And then when I was actually writing my lyrics, they weren't listening to me. Yeah. So we made that transaction. And then he said, he basically said, I'm the best rapper, best rapper out here, like in our area. So, you know, I got high, I was like, you, you have to have every quality in rap. Like there's some people, they could have, uh, the good lyrics, they can produce their own beats, but they can't perform or they're too shy to perform or they're not, you know, energetic when they perform. Yeah. I, I basically was like, okay, what's your qualities out of better? He said, yeah, my lyrics are better and I produce my own beats. I said, that's cool, but I can put on a show. Yeah. Like, it's, you know, like he has these, I have these, it's just split down the middle. So a lyricist, they can have their own crowd. Yeah. And, but, I said, you know, I basically said he wasn't the best and you're not doing nothing like no one hears you. Because yeah. my followers going up rapidly and you're saying that he said, I'm not trying to be famous or anything. If you're not making money, if you're not doing nothing, you're not getting bigger, then what are you doing it for? If you're doing it for himself, then you're a better rapper to yourself. I'm actually, you know, a better going, rapper. Yeah, people. period. So Coming from your point, I want to know who is your top five and can lean? My top five? I can't say myself, right? You can say yourself. Uh, you feel like you top five. I'm gonna put myself on the top. I will say I'll be number one just attention wise. That's what I'm going off of. It will be me. It will be just Tory B. You know what Tory B is? Uh uh. Okay, well, I'm Tory trying to B. get familiar with Kaleen. 543 Kobe. See, I fuck with too many people. This is complicated. You, got, you only got top three. Somebody can get some heat off of this. <laughs> I don't got no one to say. Yeah, hey, that's the top three. You got the top three. What are the requirements of being a top artist? 
um, I'm not judging people off of how I hear their music because yeah. it sounds different to other people. It's the fact that if they can bring a crowd out and perform it and make money off of it and, you know, be continuous with it. Some people like to, they get a hit and stop and yeah. expect fans to stay there. And I was, what's that word? Consistency. Yeah. Basically consistency on their music. Yeah, for real, for real. So. That was, that was pretty dope, man. You got anything else that you want to sh shout out my radio station, K254. For real. It's on K254.com. Yeah. And I have a mixtape coming out. Okay. Probably what, next month. What's the name of it? WGU Season Volume 4. For real. That's volume. Yeah. For real. All right, Shakita, you got anything for my man Lord A or what? Mm. What's up, Shakita? Are you looking at this music thing as a platform to do other things or do you just plan on doing music for the rest of your life? I plan on using it as a platform to get where I need to get first and then, yeah, branch off into other things, of course. Good answer. I mean, what exactly do you feel like you contribute to hip hop in, in just your community period or do you feel like you contribute to anything outside of your music? Okay, with me, because I got them kids, they look up to me too, like high schools, they fuck with me, so I told them if I make it, then I can make more opportunity for everyone else. People have gotta, they can't afford studio time, so I make it, yo, you wanna come record? I can do shit like that, like I can give back. Yeah, basically. as much as possible. Yeah. So you just saying you gonna get back to your hood when you come up. Basically, we doing that right now. Like, the radio show, we have the power to put people that I want on the radio. Yeah, people. Really. Yeah, like people support. They don't get, they don't get stuff. Like that. Yeah, yeah, man. All right. And what positive message do you have for hey, us on ATX what's up, Motivation? Keita? What's up, Keita? Stay humble, stay off drugs. For real, That's man. It. Does marijuana count? Man, y'all, y'all keep smoking your marijuana. <laughs> Stay off them Zans, though. All that. Stay off them Zans, man. That's that, it. that was a very powerful message, man. It was it was wonderful <laughs> having you, Lord A. You can come back and check us out anytime, man. We're going to be jamming up there with that shit. I we got this last man. record that we're going to get into, man. Uh, tell us about that record and where to follow you at, and, and we're going to sign out. John Wick is the next record that's going to play. Y'all can follow me on my social media, Instagram, L0RD.Adrian, A-D-R-E-A-N. Y'all fuck with you on there. If you message, I'm going to message back. Talent you have naturally. Skill is only developed by hours and hours and hours of beating on your crap. We live on ATX Motivation Radio. Shit, man, Quinn and that fan, ATX Motivation, man, T.O. or something.